In this episode, we're going to be talking to a gentleman who has developed a system of fundamentals for marketing. And if you are interested in hearing how he's really helped uh, others to succeed and what it really is, we'd love for you to join this discussion as we talk with uh, good colleagues of mine out of uh, Colorado on the West Coast, Tim Fitzpatrick. Let's do this. So good to have you here um, from the West. How is everything going? Uh, uh, fantastic. I'm happy to be here, Ricardo, and uh, thanks for having me. I'm getting excited to, to dig into this today. Welcome. It's great to have you. And uh, why don't we get started? Tell us who you are and what you do. Sure. So uh, my name is Tim Fitzpatrick. My company, uh, Rialto Marketing, been in business since 2013. Um, we help service businesses simplify marketing so that they can grow with less stress. And we do that by helping them create and implement a plan to communicate the right message to the right people. You know, we find uh, that so many people are just battling information overload with marketing mm -hmm. and it's overwhelming. And so we, it doesn't have to be that way. We can simplify it, um, but you got to get back to the, to the fundamentals and, and get those in place first before you're going to have any long-term success. So that's what we help people do. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I love marketing, man. It's dynamic. It's changing all the time. Uh, it's an exciting place to be. So. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. And, and how did you get to this point from a, from a marketing perspective? Were you always yeah. a marketer? How do you got here? No, no. So I, when I uh, graduated from college, I ended up getting involved in a wholesale distribution company that I became a partner in. Um, I would not tell you I was one of those kids that was like super entrepreneurial. I mean, all I cared about was playing with my friends and riding my bike and playing sports. So uh, I really fell into entrepreneurship. But once I fell into it, I was hooked, man, and I can't do anything else. So, you know, our distribution company, we grew about 60% a year um, for about nine years. And we sold that in 2005. Um, after that, I stayed on with the company for another three years. Um, I actually moved at the time I was in Northern California. I moved with the company to Colorado in 2008. And we all know what happened in 2008. Um, and we got bought by a public company and man, they were just starting to freak out with what was happening in the market at that time. And in 2009, I actually got laid off. So I got laid off from the company that bought us, which is not as uncommon as you might think. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, you know, I had to shift gears, man. I had all, all I had known was distribution and, and I decided to get into residential real estate, which I had always been interested in from an investment standpoint. I figured, gosh, real estate will be a great way for me to, to learn it. And um, man, I didn't like it. I did it for like two and a half, three years. I put myself outside of my comfort zone all the time, but I just, I got to a point where I was just like, man, I hate going to work every day and that's not a good place to be. So that's when I shifted gears, started thinking about what I, where my skill sets were, what I really enjoyed about being in distribution. And that's when I got into marketing. So that's the, nice. the semi short story of it, I guess. Nice. Nice. That's a great uh, journey. Um, thanks for sharing that. So when we were talking off here, we were talking about your system that you put together a system um, that we thought it would be very, very brilliant for you to share that with uh, our listeners today. So talk to us about this um, system that you've created. What is it? Um, and let's get that. Let's get dive into Let's get cool. into that system that you got. So um, what we're going to talk about is not new. Okay. The fundamentals in any discipline aren't new. Okay. So I don't want to make it sound like I've created something from scratch here. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting back to the fundamentals. Um, one of my favorite quotes from Michael Jordan is get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. It's the exact same thing with marketing. You cannot have long-term success if you skip the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And what I find is so many people with marketing want to get tactical immediately. They want to start taking action, which I, I appreciate, but you can't take action without a plan and without having the fundamentals in place. Otherwise it's not going to work. So when I look at the fundamentals of marketing, I call it the marketing strategy trilogy. One is your target market. 
you need to know who your ideal clients are. Who are you going to serve and how are you going to serve those people? Once you understand who those people are, then you can start to create clear, engaging messaging that's going to attract and engage those people. That's the second part of the trilogy. Once you have those two things in place, then you can look at the third part, which is a plan. What's your plan to get that message in front of those people? Once you have those fundamentals in place, you now have a foundation that you can build the rest of your marketing house from. So that's, that's what we do. We help people get those in place and then you can start to take action. But if you take action without those things being in place, um, you're going to waste time and you're going to waste money. Because I can tell you, I've never talked to anybody who comes to me with a marketing problem that I can't trace back to a fundamental at least one fundamental that was missed. And when you get those fundamentals in place and or working correctly, then all of the things that they're, they were, were doing have that much more likelihood of actually working. That, that's so powerful. So you're talking about the foundation, just essentially building that foundation. And we know the highest skyscrapers out there in the world has got to have a very, very good foundation to withstand anything that will come um, to it in the future. And so that's essentially what you are actually doing. So, so this system, um, who is this system good for? Like, who are the folks that should really use this? Is it anybody who is interested in marketing? Are we just talking about business owners who don't have that sort of uh, marketing arm or expertise? Um, talk to me a little about who yeah. exactly should be users of this system. So uh, the fundamentals are appropriate to any business. I don't care what business you're in. Um, if you are going to market your business, you need to have those fundamentals in place. Um, having said that, you know, I mean, the types of clients we typically work with are coaches, consultants, professional service providers. Um, but We've worked with all different kinds of companies. You have to have the fundamentals in place. So I don't care what business you're in, you have to have those dialed in. And it is not uncommon. Frankly, it, it happens all the time where we work with companies that have been in business for a long time, right? They've reached a level of success. They're just hitting a roadblock or a ceiling that they can't push through. And they can't push through that because some of those fundamentals aren't exactly where they need to be, right? So you can reach a certain level of success without having all the fundamentals in place, right? Sometimes we succeed in spite of ourselves. Um, but just because people have done that doesn't mean that you should do it. So I honestly, I've never talked to a company that didn't need some fundamental help in some way, shape or form. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's, that's so, that's so uh, helpful, just understanding that this is not uh, immune to anybody. It's, uh, it's as long as you, uh, you are seeking to grow, you're seeking to build something, you really need to go um, after the fundamentals first. So how is this, how is the system different than from, I don't know, what, what, are, what are the alternatives? Like if you're not having a fundamental system like the one that you put together, um, in place in your business, what's the alternative for someone to do if they're not doing what you're suggesting? Well, it's really, um, there really isn't necessarily an alternative. There are different approaches to it, right? So there are marketing strategy people, I, you know, like I said, this isn't new, Ricardo. So it's like, I, I'm not telling people something that they probably haven't already heard from somebody else, but there are different approaches to you know, how do I hone in on my target market? How do I create clear, engaging messaging? And what type of plan do I need? So there are different approaches to that. Um, we just, you know, we obviously approach target market and messaging and planning in a very specific way that, um, that works and makes sense um, for me and our clients. I just, I think from a from a fundamental standpoint and with marketing, especially people overcomplicate marketing. It's so easy to overcomplicate it. And so I think what makes our approach different than some is we always have a focus on keeping things as simple as possible, because if we make things complex, 
it, that's going to be the enemy of results. Complexity makes implementation much, much harder. So I think that's what that's what's different about our approach compared to some that I've seen out there, if that makes sense. This podcast is sponsored by MeisterTask, the most intuitive task manager on the web. Uh, MeisterTask is an easy to use project management tool, makes it easy and fun, colorful to get all your projects managed in one place. As an entrepreneur, I use MeisterTask to help me manage all of my projects. Um, I can drag and drop different tasks. I can assign key people to the task. I can set deadlines and schedules and enjoy just beautiful colors while I do that. Uh, so uh, if you are interested in trying MeisterTask, go to meistertask.com slash DMT tools. That's M-E-I-S-T-E-R-T-A-S-K dot com slash DMT tools. And you can sign up for a free trial when you upgrade to the pro plan. So get started for free today and um, invite um, your team members and get uh, and get productive together. The approach that you're taking or you have taken um, is, has been really helpful for a lot, lots of companies. Tell me about something that uh, you can do practically. So now I've, uh, you've got my attention. I'd like to take your approach, uh, like to use your system. Tell us some things that we can do uh, with this system. So, so once you have these fundamentals in place, then you can start to, I mean, I don't care what tactic, marketing tactic you're gonna use, all those things that you just put in place, you are going to use to implement those tactics and it's gonna make those tactics much easier. So for example, let's say somebody says, I've got these fundamentals in place, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I now wanna take advantage of Facebook ads, okay? Well, with your Facebook ads, you now have a very clear understanding of who those ads should be targeted to. You have a very clear idea of exactly what you need to say to those people in those ads to get them to take action, right? But before that, what a lot of people do is they go, oh, I need to do Facebook ads. Okay, cool. They're, they don't have really clear understanding of their targeting, so they end up attracting people that may not be a good fit. They don't really have a clear idea of what they're going to say to those people. So they, they put out what they think is right. And they're just like, it's, there's just no real strategy behind it. And you may have some success with that, but it's never going to work like it should. And it's probably not going to work long term. So you just going into and using various marketing tactics, you're armed with the information you need to make the implementation and execution on that much easier and much more effective. Nice. And, and, and you say something that I, I really like. Uh, so, so let's go back to the, the construct of this fundamentals. You talk about the striology. So can we repeat that again in terms of these four, uh, I think it was three, yeah. three yeah. main pillars. So let's go back over it again. Yeah. So you have your marketing strategy trilogy, one target market, Everything from a marketing perspective starts with your target market and your ideal clients. Then you have two, which is your messaging, what you say, right? How you communicate what you do and the value you offer. And then three is your plan. What's my plan to get that message in front of those people? Those are the three fundamental elements that I talk about. Okay. And then, and so, so for those folks who are listening and say, okay, would love to be able to sort of tap into this system and kind of work with Tim to be able to get these fundamentals um, knocked out, what should they need to do to, to use this, to get access to this? Is this, do you have this somewhere that they can go and look at? Um, is it free? Um, is it, is it a paid? Like talk to me a little about that access. Yeah, absolutely. So look, I do tons of training and I just put all out all the information that we use. Okay. So I put together a landing page specifically for your audience 
you guys will link to that in the show notes. On that page, there are a number of free resources right there that we use when we're working with clients and that we just hand out to people. So, you know, um, the messaging framework that we use, um, customer insight survey, which is a great way to interview ideal clients that you have worked with and get their feedback. Because oftentimes as business owners, we can't see the forest through the trees. We don't think about our business objectively and our clients can articulate our value in such a way that, man, you read it and you're like, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? That's so simple. Well, we can't because we, we're too in our business. So that resource is there and that's a great resource to use. And then you take that resource to create your messaging. Um, you know, the marketing plan template that we use, it's a 90 day plan, it's six steps, it's super simple, it's, it's all right there. So I've got that and other resources on there. It's an easy place for people to start. Right. And then the URL uh, for that, we'll actually put that URL in the show notes. Um, and so I, you shared that URL with us earlier. And that was, you, you go to, t- tell me about this URL. Tell, tell me how to get to this, um, this page again. So it's at, it's at, it's off of our website at rialtomarketing.com, which is mm-hmm. R-I-A-L-T-O marketing.com. Um, and the link's kind of long, um, but it's uh, forward slash more dash the dash digital dash marketing dash tech dash tools. Oh, and I saw a podcast, the name of our podcast. Yes. So yep. you just go to realtormarketing.com slash more the digital marketing tech tools. It just puts uh, a dash between yep. each just of those. Just put a words. dash right between it. Awesome. And we'll and put that get in the right show to notes, that page. folks. So you will be able to access in the show notes. So you'll be able to see it there. That's that's pretty awesome. So so once you get the the trilogy right, you get the fundamentals. So you've got access to these other frameworks that you talk about that you'll be able to then start u- utilizing right away to leverage your approach for um, for the, the 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 direction you want to take your marketing into. Correct. Yep. Nice. Yeah, you, you'll have clarity on what you need to do. That's where. That's where overwhelm sets in for people because and stress, right? Because they don't have clarity. But when you have clarity, you know exactly what your priorities are and what you need to execute on. And that brings your stress level down. And when you know exactly what your priorities are and you implement, you're going to get much more consistent, repeatable results. Awesome. I love that. And if clarity was a tool, I probably would be using it too. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> it's... it's uh, it's we all need that because we get uh you know just overwhelmed like you said and bombarded with so much out there um sometimes we definitely need that focus Uh, and thanks for sharing that and i know that you know you've been in business for quite some time and staying in business is not easy um how how have you done it and really what would you say has been you know the best thing that happened to you accomplishment what what has been the best thing and how did you how did you do it at this point yeah so What's really helped me, some, one of my mentors always said, focus on the next measurable step. Um, I think as business owners, we can, I mean, marketing alone can be overwhelming, but we have all these other aspects of our business that we're trying to manage and that we want to do, right? We, we got into business because we had goals. We had a vision of where we wanted to go. Um, and that can be really overwhelming when you start to think about all the things you need to do. And it's always really helped me to just focus on the next measurable step I can take. Break down that those larger tasks into very small steps that you can take each and every day. And that makes things much, much easier. Um, you know, from, a, from an accomplishment standpoint, um, you know, I'm, I can't really necessarily pinpoint one accomplishment specifically. Um, but I would tell you, you know, what's, what's been very satisfying for me is one, helping the clients that we work with, helping their businesses grow feels very good, right? And that's one of the reasons why I got into marketing, right? Mar- you cannot grow a successful business without marketing. You can have the best product or service in the world, but if you don't have marketing bringing in leads and customers, none of that matters. So that is 
I feel very accomplished every time we get a, a client to that place. The other thing that I take a lot of satisfaction with is the people that are on our team that we work with. Um, you know, creating a place that they feel good about working at and get meeting from um, gives me a lot of satisfaction as well. Awesome. I love it. Um, and thanks for sharing that. Uh, I, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd love to share with us today, Tim? Uh, no, I, you know, Ricardo, I think you, I think you really covered it. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to just really reiterate, don't skip the fundamentals. Um, I think it's very easy to become impatient and want immediate results. And when people fall into that trap and they think short term with their marketing, they end up making very poor decisions. Think about marketing from a long term perspective. Think of it as an investment, get the fundamentals in place, and then consistently feed that flywheel each and every month. And it will, it will pay dividends for you, but you, you gotta, you gotta think long term. Awesome. Great advice. And that's, that's so powerful. The fundamentals, get the fundamentals right. Um, and you should be okay building from there. I, I had a last question because I always like to ask my guests around um, books and podcasts that they're um, listening and reading. So what books are you reading at this point um, in, you know, in your journey as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, what, what, what are the books or some of the books one or two is good that you're reading and what podcasts are you listening to these days? Yeah. So, um, there's a couple, um, book wise, I think the, the most impactful book that I recently read was essentialism. Uh, and I believe the, the author was Greg McCowan. Um, but it just, it really focuses in on accomplishing more by focusing on less it's, we did, you know, and just really hones in on, hey, we've got to focus on the most essential things that are really going to move the needle and eliminate everything else, um, which I think for most business owners is so, so important. Um, podcast wise, one of the podcasts that I am really enjoying right now is Business School, um, which is uh, hosted by a guy um, with, by the name of Sharon Shravatsa. Um, super smart guy, love him to death. And um, I just love his approach to business. Um, it's very similar to mine. Uh, he is far smarter than I am. Um, so I learn a ton of things just by listening to his podcast episodes, but he really has a way of breaking things down. He has a way of breaking complex things down into simple steps. That's it's an awesome, awesome podcast. That's awesome. So essentialism and business school. Yes. Um, definitely uh, should check those out. Well, thank you so much, Tim, for sharing this. Uh, we really appreciate uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, folks, if you really want to uh, get to know Tim more, you can go to his website, uh, realtomarketing.com, R-I-A-L-T-O, marketing.com. And, um, and look in the show notes for the, the framework for that page that will connect you to some of the resources that he talked about earlier. So Tim, uh, this is not your last time because we'd love to check in on you uh, a couple of months from here to see how you're doing and how those fundamentals are, are helping businesses to succeed. So thank you for joining us. We, we certainly appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Ricardo, and uh, hope your audience is served well by the conversation. That was Tim Fitzpatrick, and he has talked about the fundamental tools to really help your business to grow this fundamental system. But if, you know, folks, you don't understand the fundamentals, you are going to be in some serious trouble. And if you, if you know the fundamentals, you can elevate your growth, you um, know, in, in a massive way. And so we hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the podcast give us a rating uh, share us with your friends we'd love to hear what your thoughts are uh we'd love to hear how you feel about what we're doing so that we can continue what we're uh, what we're working on so until next time choose a tool to rule your growth Talk soon.